Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video on uh, your annual chapter financial report. Uh, what you're seeing before you on your screen is actually a copy of the form. This form can also be downloaded online. The form uh, is a form that you can actually type in. All you'll need is Acrobat, uh, an Acrobat reader to be able to do so. And that is a free download and I'll actually have a pop-up window coming up on your screen right about now uh, with that web address where you can actually download it. It will allow you to fill out this form and then print it uh, with the numbers already in there. Uh, one nice feature about the form is that it does have some built-in formulas. So this cell right here will be the sum of all these. This cell will be the sum of this. And then this cell is the the, basically the sum or the difference between these two. Um, this cell will automatically calculate based on what you enter into this field, which should be your beginning reconciled balance. And then this is the end result of these two um, adding together. So let's go ahead and get started with the form so you can see how it works. Uh, what I'm going to do in this example is just type in example chapter because it's not tied to any one particular chapter. Um, you, of course, will type in your own chapter name. Uh, your employee employer identification number, or uh, it's also known as the EIN number, um, you should have that, but you can also obtain it from Kathy Stewart at the state office if you need to. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to enter in some X's to represent the number. And let's go ahead and fill this out. So our local dues is our first source of revenue. And in this example, that was 1,176. Uh, rebates that we received in this example was $1,911.33. And you'll notice that this field right here automatically calculated for you, so this is really easy. No reason not to do this form. Uh, and then let's move down to our expenditures. So uh, in this example, we don't have any office expenses, but we do have some officer expenses at $391.77. Um, then our uh, convention expenses, $670.00. And our scholarship fund was $400. Sunshine fund gifts and cards was $655.68. Miscellaneous expenses, we had $193.80 there. Again, you notice that this auto calculated here. Um, this field auto calculated because we now have the two numbers that result in this number. Uh, if this were to show up as a negative number, it would have parentheses around it. And of course, a, a negative means a deficit, <laughs> so you want to try to avoid a deficit, and that's uh, good planning on the chapter's part to uh, have a good budget in place, which uh, uh, will not allow you to overextend yourselves. Uh, and then in this field, you just want to enter in your uh, beginning reconciled amount. So in this particular example, it was $1,206.32. You notice that this auto populated here, uh, which gives you this number here. Uh, and this last field, really what you can do is actually do your math ahead of time, and you would take this number and add it together with this number uh, to get this number. So in this, <laughs> a lot of this numbers, I, I just hurt myself. Uh, but in this case, you'll uh, actually just type in $1,982.40. Uh, so everything checks out on the annual chapter financial report. If you do have questions about it, do not hesitate to give uh, your field representative a call or the state office. Call Kathy Stewart um, or even Janin Wood would be able to help you at the state office in Auburn. Uh, but that basically does it for this example of the annual chapter financial report. Again, this form is online for you guys to fill out, and uh, once you fill it out, you can print it off and then send that right back into the state office. Thanks again.